David Colleen, this is a very emotional story, and Emily Zamorka has had two life changing moments captured on camera. And today we show you the heartbreaking night her prized instrument was destroyed. The strings are still, the strings are still attached. I think you can. A dramatic, life changing moment captured on cell phone video. Emily Zamorka, the homeless woman whose subway singing went viral, says this was the moment two years ago that derailed her life. A man grabbing her violin and destroying the treasured instrument that was worth thousands of dollars. When I lost that, I felt like I lost everything. It was so shocking because I had all my fans around me, people talking to me, and of course, I never in my mind thought that someone would just do what they did. It happened outside Clifton's restaurant in downtown Los Angeles. Whitney Smith, a friend and fan of Emily's musical talents, was there. All of a sudden, I just hear her scream, and I look up, and that's when I picked up my phone. And uh, a guy that had been watching her, he just grabbed her violin and ran down the street, and these two young men ran after him. And I was really standing there with her, saying, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. They're going to get him, they're going to get him. Well, they did catch up to him, but the guy threw the violin down violently, which broke it. The violin was Zamorka's livelihood, how she earned money to pay her bills. She says she played on an electric violin for a while until she says someone pushed her off a bus, causing her to fracture her wrist. She hasn't played the violin since and found herself living on the streets. Nobody wants to live on the street. It's tough. I've been scared, I've been uh, threatened, I've been, uh, I just don't know where to go for a safe spot. Then came this performance captured by an LAPD officer in a subway. Now Zamorka is a celebrity, people stopping her on the streets for photos. And she's been invited to perform at the grand opening of Little Italy in San Pedro this weekend. Councilmember Joe Buscaino's office paying for her time, transportation, a hotel room, and now working on finding her long term housing. I'm very excited, and it's, of course, what's happening, it's something that I can't believe. I'm speechless. Uh, almost like a, a miracle. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.